there, sweet friends. It's Cynthia Nessel from Create with Cynthia, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little burlap bunnies. And I'm also going to tell you a little story about Jack Rabbit. Hey ho, said little Jack Rabbit to himself one bright morning. How happy I'd be if I could find Uncle John Hare. And then, all of a sudden, he came to a sign by the side of the road on which was printed in big red letters, Three Miles to Turnip City. Perhaps someone there can tell me where he lives. And the little rabbit set out with a brave heart once more. And pretty soon, not so very far, he came to a little house painted white with green shutters and a red chimney and goodness me before he could say winky pinky uncle john Hare himself opened the door for this project i took a bunny form that i purchased at the dollar store a little bunny decoration and i had an old burlap tablecloth that i was using at my old home when i had a round table and I traced the bunnies onto the burlap tablecloth and then cut the bunnies out. How did you get here all by yourself? It's a long way from the old bramble patch, inquired the old gentleman rabbit. Well, you can imagine how glad the little tired bunny was to find his uncle. And for a long time, he forgot to ask him how he came to leave the sunny meadow and why he had brought this little house in Turnip City. But by and by, his uncle explained it all by saying he wished to pass the rest of his days in quiet, far away from the farmer's boy and Danny Fox. Now come around to the back of the house and I'll show you my little garage, said the old gentleman bunny. I have a bunny mobile that goes so fast you can, can't count the miles before you're home again. Wasn't that a wonderful automobile to have? Well, I just guess it was. And after the little rabbit had looked it over, his uncle took him back in the house and showed him the little room which is to be his as long as he lived in Turnip City. Now here you can see I also had some old material in a variety of different colors that I cut into strips that were like one inch by six inches. And I'm using the strips as filler. Now for the bunny, you can use any type of filler, but I like to reuse and repurpose things. And that's why I chose the strips of material that I no longer needed. So I'm just adding glue around the edges, waiting for it to dry. And then once the glue is dry, I'm taking the material and stuffing it into the bunny form. I'm starting at the top near the ears and just adding a little bit of material just so that my bunny has a little bit of cushion. Won't we have fine times together, said the old gentleman rabbit with a laugh. I've been waiting for just this happy moment. You and I can travel all over together in sunshiny, snow falling, rain wetting weather. Once my bunnies were completely formed, and stuffed, I took a little bit of twine and tied it into a double bow and glued the double bow onto the bunny. This project was super easy and fun. These bunnies are for decor purposes only, not to be used as dog toys or stuffed animals for children. And when you're working on the project, be aware that a hot glue gun can get really hot. And he slapped the little bunny's back and gave a hop, skip, and jump to one side, and then laughed some more, for he was as happy as a clam at high tide, as an old fisherman used to say when I was a boy not so very long ago, but just long enough to make me wish I were 20 years younger just the same. Well, after a while, it was bedtime, and the cuckoo came out of her little clock and said, 
Time for bed, you sleepyhead. Don't sit up too late. It won't be long before my song will make the clock strike eight. And in the next story, you shall hear what happened after that. I hope you've enjoyed the first chapter of Little Jack Rabbit and Uncle John Hare. This book was my grandfather Richard's book. An old story, but a good one. Thanks for watching me take some old materials and create these cute little bunnies. I hope you and your family have a wonderful Easter holiday. Now don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit ring the bell, and go out there and create something.